Hey guys, let's get straight into it. The first launcher on the list is FastKey. It is mostly like a stock launcher that is very similar to the Google stock launchers and it also offers a lot of customization. But the main highlighting feature of this launcher is the keyboard on the screen. The search on this launcher is faster than any launcher that I've seen. You just have to type any letter and it will automatically search and it is instantaneous. There aren't even any animations. It will automatically search all your contacts and applications for the thing that you want and you just have to type one or two letters and you'll basically get whatever you want. The rest is pretty much like a stock launcher. The overall launcher is quite fast and it also offers some customization. So you can change how the layout drawer is and you can also change the animation. It looks very minimal at first, but when you dive into the settings, it has a lot of customization. It works fast and fluid and if you're coming from Google Now launcher or any kind of pixel launcher, then you'll find it very similar, but it has a lot of features inside it. For example, you can lock applications and then you can directly open them using your fingerprint scanner and you don't need any kind of extra application for that. You can use various gestures for it, like if you want to double tap to sleep, you can do that. If you want to shake to open the camera, you can do that as well and a lot more. I personally like this one a bit more because it integrates really well with Google now and there is no lag when you switch between the screens. Also you can integrate it with Fast Finder so you can search your contacts and applications at the same time. And you can also customize almost everything in the layout. You can also add blur in the background if you want to change the size of the icons or the text color or anything else that you want. It's a cool customizable launcher so make sure you give this one a try. The next one is Nano Launcher and it is pretty much the opposite to the previous one. It is very minimal and does not have much customization. But still the look and feel of this launcher is quite impressive and it's easy to use as well. Almost everything that you'll need is just one swipe away. So you can just swipe to the left to have all the widgets that you want and you can swipe to the right to have the app drawer and you also have the basic toggles on the bottom. It basically has a very minimal look and that is the most attractive feature about this. It also has a feature hidden under the sub menu that lets you see how much time you spent on an application and how many times you open up all the applications. It is a very simple select launcher that has very minimal customization as well, but what it does, it does quite well. Next up is AO Launcher and this one is a little bit different type of launcher. It is based upon a feed of things that you do. So it will have all the top applications on the top. It will show you the RAM, battery and everything as well. You also have a full app list if you scroll from the left and that's kind of it. It does not offer a lot of customization, but it is very intuitive to use as it is. The last one on the list is Flow Home and this one is also a feed type launcher, but the interface is quite different from the previous one. It has the feed on the left side where you'll have all the updates from all the applications that you've synced within. It doesn't offer to sync all the applications, but this is quite good as well. If you tap on the person icon, you'll get all the widgets that you have. And the animations on this launcher, if you have noticed, are quite smooth. They kind of resemble the iPhone, but they are a bit more flowy. And that kind of explains the name of the launcher as well. You can also set up quick shortcuts, so you can access all of them using just a small button on the right. It is basically all the features and the animations combined that make up an interface that is quite intuitive. I'll give some bonus ones as well. You can also try out the HTC launcher. It is the official HTC launcher that is present on HTC devices and also some plugins on Blink Feed also work with this. So you'll have to download the launcher and all the plugins, but some plugins might not work on some phones. And also a Trebuchet launcher that is the actual launcher of Cyanogen mod. You can also try it out. It's very simple. I'll have all the links in the description box below and the launcher itself offers a bit more customization and has kind of a stock feel to it. It also is fast and fluid. So yeah, you all know Sanogen Mod Launcher. So that was kind of it for this video, guys. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more content like this. And you can also watch some previous videos on this channel.